in the previous episode, I built the ultimate create mod workshop, got a new pet called Leroy Jenkins. But in today's episode, we'll be creating a mini limestone farm and creating the ultimate iron factory. However, before we jump into that, I streamed over on Twitch the other day, and I went to the nether and got some blaze burners. I was also so shocked that we spawned right at a nether fortress, it saved me a ton of time and PTSD. But I also took your guys' suggestions down in the comments below, and I made my workshop much neater. Okay, so over here, right off the bat, I have moved the press back over here, and we have a mixer, and it's all compact and neat. I also moved the source over here. And this is much faster. I do wish I had an example to show you. And then over here, I brought this thing forward so it wasn't clipping back in the wall. And now it's much needed back here. I also replaced this with stone because after the video, it set on fire and almost burnt this entire building down. But then over here, we have this little nook. And as you can see, I have a deployer. And that is because I made brass with the blaze burners which i will also quickly put in a little clip yay we are doing it we are making some brass fingers but yes now we have two blaze burner mixer thingies i also have some more blaze burners in my inventory because i don't plan to go back to the nether anytime soon but like always i need to build my building for the iron farm before actually creating the iron farm itself. And you can't build a building without getting resources, but we're going to gather the resources a little bit different today. So we are going to need to create some drills. So I think I'm going to do a three by three drill, and I also don't know how to build one, so let me look up for a tutorial. Um, We just got back from the mines. Uh, The last clip that I recorded my microphone sounded extremely off and disgusting like it pierced my ears so i'm just going to do a quick recap on what we made so we made a rotational speed controller we made a windmill bearing we made a car assembler we made a rope pulley and we made some whatever this is and some windmill sails i was trying to somehow fix the audio but nothing i did was fixing it even lowering it didn't work i'm sorry but the reason we went down into the mines because we were lacking some of the zinc here and i also got some bonus diamonds down there and an enchantment book and some other snazzy stuff um but we need to cook the zinc ingots i love this thing i can't wait till i make a mega one but we need to make some mechanical drills the mechanical plow and some rails some chests some minecarts and some super glue i'm gonna quickly check to see if i have slime anywhere i don't think i do yeah i do have four balls actually because over on stream i killed a slime we need pressed ingot sheet and that use this much faster now got some super glue i think a mine cut just like a yeah a boat just iron and i've got how to make rails oh okay expensive but okay let's quickly grab some sticks okay i feel like we're creating more there, there should be an inventory upgrade because the amount of stuff you need for create mod just takes up the inventory space. Okay, I think a stack in 21 rails should be enough, I think. We don't even need rails, I just realised. Why did I think we need rails or anything of the sorts? Oh my god, I just wasted iron. I think 9 jewels will be enough. Yeah, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So just a small square like this, a 3x3. Three three. Um, and then we need a mechan- we don't need a mechanical plow. I'm making the wrong one. But we do need chests, so let's make some chests. That's one thing we do need. Okay, we're going to build here, and then we're going to move it. So... Is that a rhino? Okay, so we need to do this and place this down. Oh. We need to place the cart assembler down, and then we've got to place the minecart. Then a 
apparently we're gonna put the rotational speed controller on like this okay i may have lied it needs to go side to side like so then what we need to do is grab a large cogwheel and then drop this in the middle oh that looks cool not gonna lie okay and then what we also need is a vertical gearbox which i forgot okay so we want to put it here so we can make the windmill at the top here and then what we want to put out of the gear out here the large cogwheel is a gear shift um okay and then right on top of here let's grab some blocks to get up we need to place our windmill bearing uh so we have 34 so 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 i don't know 8 or something so we're gonna go up by 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but i'm gonna go down a little bit Okay, these look weird as heck but hey should work hopefully maybe it does work so now that we've tested that that's good well, apparently this dude wants me to change this to 128 okay and what this dude said we should put a rope pulley and put it right in front of this gearbox and then we're going to attach something I do not have, uh, apparently. I'm going to cry and scream. I do have them somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I never got it. See, trust me to make stuff, hey? Oh, uh, yeah, wood, 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 and endocyte alloy. That's easy. And then, if I am correct, we place this under like so. Uh, I'm just going for it now. Okay. Okay, and then apparently we need to put slime blockies on, make this up here sticky. So we can put chests, I think. Oh my god! <sighs> I made it. I'm naming this the poor man's drill. So apparently we need the. Okay, it's already broken. Okay, I did it. We created the poor man's drill. Now let's cover this up. I didn't mean to make this hole here. I need limestone. And this may not be the most efficient way to get it, but it's going to dig from all the way at the top, all the way down. So I'm going to get some bonus materials. Will they help me? Most likely not, but hey. I'm broke. I'm going to take anything that's free. So over here, you may see I have these waypoints over here. Uh, one of them's limestone. One of them. Okay, so we're going to place the drill about here, I think. No, I want it the other way around. Yes, okay. I think I want it this way. Yeah, this way. And then we disable the... Since this thing's going to be difficult for me today, start losing my nut. Um, we're going to dig out this much then. And then we can place the rail about here, then we can place this about here, and then we can place this about here. And then if we turn the windmill on, it should get going. It's working! Oh, yeah. Why is it deep slate so far up? Oh, this is cool. Let's call it up to see what we've got so far. What the heck?
39 limestones so far that have saved me a bunch of time. So, we'll send it back down now. Um... I moved my machine digger thingy, my bob, and placed it over here, and I broke the lever when it was activated, and it caused the entire thing to break. So I'm gonna cry now. But hey, it's fine. We can make the normal sideways one. Okay, I made this drill. It's much simpler, I guess. Um, so we're going to take it back down to the limestone caves and have it mined there. There is no way. I've decided that I am going to make a limestone farm. Only a mini one for now, as we will make one in the future. But I really need a mini one right now because I need to mine a lot of limestone. And mining limestone is annoying. No, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Guys, we have a working limestone farm. I'm so happy. It's very messy and trashy right now, but I'm happy. And we've almost got two stacks. This is going to send me a bunch of time. Okay. Well, we're going to let this grind. And we will be back. I had to turn off this farm because it was producing way too much. That was starting to overflow, actually. But we have a whole double chest full of limestone now. Which is more than enough. Um... We're going to turn that farm off. Otherwise, we're going to overproduce and I do not want that to happen. Don't think we'll need this much, but it's fine. Sadly, we can't automate Azurin, as that is our main source for the roof. This is why I originally designed this pallet with warped wood, uh, because you can automate that. So we might have to start uh, fading into warped wood soon. Because I don't think I can mine Azurin for the rest of Minecraft. I don't know yet. But before we start building our iron farm, we need to collect resources normally. Because the drill over there didn't work. So mining montage. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have gathered all the resources which are in this bag, we can start with the building time lapse. Okay, our factory is kind of done. As you can see in the background there, there is some framed blocks that I need to do manually as this doesn't do it for me. And I can already see that it's missed a few blocks. I th Yeah, so it's missed some blocks here. And it's missed some blocks there. So I'm going to quickly go and fix that and I will be back. Okay, I have finished the back and all this other jazz. I finished uh, up there. 
So I finished, I fixed all this stuff up here. I did a little bit of terraforming here and changed the flooring out with dirt. And on the inside, I put in a little bit of a ground. I kind of want to make this feel a little bit open. As if you're, as this is the, as if this is the big building and it's, I want it to make it feel cold inside. But there will be a second floor right above here and maybe I'll put a third floor. But in order to make an iron farm, we need gravel because we need to wash the gravel. And in order to get gravel, we need to crush down cobblestone. In order to get cobblestone, we need a cobblestone generator. So let's start with that. Okay, so if I am correct, I'm doing this based off memory. Uh, we put jewels here like so. Uh, so we put three jewels here. Uh, we need three so it can, you know, mine six at a time. Um, but then at the back here, oh yeah, and then at the back here, I don't remember how far we go forward. But I would like to say probably this far. And then we'll grab this and make this into here. And we have to raise everything up by one. Yeah, because we need to make funnels right along here. And then we bring this up one. And then we plonk the... No, we don't want the drills to be that way. We want the drills to be facing this way. I hope I'm doing it correctly. And then to make sure that the water doesn't flow away, we will put blocks here and we will put blocks here. And then we will put water here. Okay, so yes, we'll put water along here like so. Then we bring this up by one again. I will change this out all by glass so it can be seen what's happening on the inside and I've fallen and of course I have. And then we'll put larvae here and then we'll turn this into cobblestone and it will dig it. That will go into the chutes and out to the conveyor belt. Now I remember we have to do this. Now let's see how far we can go up. I swear it was something like this. Aha! Yes, I measured that by luck actually. So we're going to bring this up. By a little bit uh, just so we have some room to grind down the stone yeah there we go so we'll go up like so there's something telling me that this isn't high enough but if it isn't we'll fix that later and then we build a vault here a big one like so why is it like that then we put funnels here. Yeah, but anyways, we put funnels here. Then we leave room for some shoots. So shoots will come up there. Yes, yeah, so we make it like this. Then we grab the grindstone. And I mess this up. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay, so we have the grindstones which will power from here. And then this... Ooh. Then this will drop down in another chute which will come down like so we would have an encased fan here we'd put uh what is this called a pressure plate right there and we would put a water bucket here so it blows water through and then at the end here we would we will have it deposit in this chest but then we have a smart shoe so it only picks up when it has flint and iron nugget here so no gravel would flow through okay this should be everything now let's get a power source to get everything running and add the lava in here and see if it all works it should do um only thing I'm worried about is this spinning the opposite way, but I have a backup plan for that already. So let me get a power source and I'll be back. Okay, it is all running. The conveyor belts are moving the right way. 
bees are grinding, the fans moving the right way. And am I the only one that didn't know this? That you can water, like, you can make the frame trap doors water? I think this is super cool. But yes, I need to have a gear shift here because the fan was blowing the other way, but now it's blowing the white way. And I guess it's time to do the honors of having lava and getting this all ready. I forgot to power the grindstones. Silly me. Alright, so we just got to add a few more water wheels down below and we will be all good. I'm four water wheels short, so that's probably why it's playing up. Yay, it's working! Now let's see this get grinded. It's grinding. It's... Ooh. It's washing. And we have done it. I'm so happy. First farm in Cray, and I think we did really, really good. Um, I'm going to let this AFK for a little bit and s for about an hour. So let's see how much we make from that. Okay, I have been AFK for a teeny bit. Uh, I've done all this work outside. Just done a little bit of decoration and all that jazz. But so far we've gotten 214 ingots. Uh, 40 ingots. And that is quite a lot for about, what, half an hour maybe? So far quite a successful iron farm. But unfortunately that will have to be the end for today's episode. Uh, we've done quite a lot of progression in this episode, I'm quite proud. Um, but in the next episode, we will tackle our food situation. Actual, not skipping it, we're gonna actually tackle our food situation because I'm sick of bloody starving. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!